Yanni here with Marine Connection. We are on board Cobia's new 320 center console, a boat that's been very tough to get our hands on, even as Cobia's number one dealer in the world. Uh, customer demand has simply outweighed what's available and what the manufacturer is able to produce, but we're very excited to be out on it today. And one of the most exciting aspects is that the 320 is the next generation of Cobia boats. So they've taken everything they've learned and polished the details, uh, changed up the manufacturing processes using what they've learned with the Maverick uh, line and the various uh, vacuum assisted resin infusion system manufacturing process to deliver an uh, extremely polished boat. And um, while this looks like just a 32 foot version of the 301 paper on paper, it is so much more than that. Um, and really, really a well laid out, well designed, and an extremely well running hull. Now together we've looked at many Cobias over the years and we know they're solid boats, we know they're great riding boats, but this 320 is manufactured with the same process that the smaller Mavericks from Maverick Boat Group are, are manufactured and that is the vacuum infused resin uh, manufacturing process. So the hull on this boat is actually infused with resin during manufacturing and it results in a stronger yet lighter part that's much more consistent. With the Varus process, the mold is sealed in an airtight bag and resin is infused into the fiberglass cloth using vacuum. So we had a great day out on this 320 center console. And again, quick specs on it, 32 feet long, 10 foot, uh, three inch beam, uh, holds 275 gallons of fuel with this hull and lighter weight, it's gonna run you quite a, quite a long distance. Uh, 21 and a half degree dead rise, as we've seen on the other Cobia, uh, bigger center consoles and um, just a tremendous job they've done on taking this boat, taking uh, their range and uh, putting it on the next level. Now, bow seating wise, we do have that legendary Cobia D-shaped seating arrangement up at the bow. Uh, we do have wraparound uh, backrest, a center removable insert, and then some cushions above these storage compartments. This one is equipped with the uh, fold-out backrests that do tuck away. Uh, when they are in place, they do give you a nice, nice lounge seat up here and you could face forward on the bow of the boat. JL Audio speakers up at the bow. And when you do remove the cushions, you remove the center insert, you have a very large casting platform up here. Now again, everything is finished off in non-skid. The uh, storage compartments underneath the cushions are insulated and they are very large. Underneath me here is the bow table and it comes up to a middle position, uh, providing a sun pad here. Uh, there is a filler cushion, so it provides a sun pad uh, and a very large one at that. And then when it comes all the way up, it is a table. When it's at the bottom position, it is flush with the deck, so you don't have anything to trip on. And then all the way forward, we do have our through hull windlass setup that is a Lumar uh, stainless steel windlass. Low profile grab rail. And then coming back, and let's not forget about all the cup holders and the rod holders we do have at the bow, but coming back, we do have our entry into the head. Now, having looked at thousands of boats and done these videos with you guys, I have to say, and I have to give props to Cobia for this setup. Now, what they've done is take something that you usually have to cram into and climb down into and no one wants to get into the console, and they've turned it into something that's just comfortable to climb down into. The forward opening door creates a wide opening, and then you have some real steps to get climbed down in there, and you're not, uh, you're not bending yourself in some awkward, awkward way to make it down in there. What that also does is it creates a very large storage compartment in there if you do need to store gear down in the head. Underneath the forward cushion, we do have a cooler, and this forward cushion is wide so you could easily fit two people there. Now the 320 like the 301 does feature this new style hardtop. I believe Cobia does have a patent pending on it. So the windshield is integrated here. Um, the legs of the hardtop stop at the console so they do not protrude any wider than the console itself. It's a very elegant setup and you do have a windshield wiper and electric power opening vent there. The hard top on this particular boat is finished off in the hull side color. Two more JL audio speakers up at, at the front of the hard top, two more at the back, LED lights. We do have outriggers on here, and then like uh, most Cobias, we do have the forward and rear storage compartments. Now over here at the helm, we do have the full wraparound windshield that goes all the way to the hard top frame. Um, what that means is it's blocking a lot more wind than you get on a traditional setup. 
uh, Yamaha Digital Gauge, Dual Garmin Electronics, uh, JL Audio head unit, Garmin VHF, all of our accessory switches, tilt helm, uh, and our Optimus 360 joystick from Seastar. So this does have Seastar electric power steering. Windless control, ignition for our Yamaha outboards. This particular boat is powered by a pair of twin 300 four-stroke Yamahas. And in our testing today, it did in the mid 50s with that package. You can also opt to go a little bit bigger and go with the twin 350 V8s on this particular setup. Dual captain's chairs, uh, they feature the fold down uh, bolster here, makes a little bit nicer uh, seating arrangement and you can sit a little bit higher and it has a great uh, foot rest that swings out and it's deeper than most you'll find on a boat of this size and you also do have the integrated one with the sea deck um, type of uh, material there. Now we do have a fold down armrest on each side along with two in the center and cup holders. Now the hard top on here does have the uh, ladder style legs coming back and you have plenty of easy to access rod holders. Uh, conveniently located spreader lights and two more JL audio speakers there. The tackle station on here does feature a small wet bar, fresh water, a little prep sink, a little cooler, and plenty of storage for all your gear. Two in-floor fish boxes, they are pretty large for a boat of this size. We do have our dive door that is sealed of course in a very uh, well thought out layout and design from from Cobia um, so no water in through there and just a uh, again well designed piece raw and fresh water in the corners of the transom and as with our other Cobias we do have the fold down rear bench seat and behind the rear bench seat the entire hatch to access your bilge is electric so when you fold this up the entire hatch comes up with power. Then behind the rear bench seat we do have our two giant live wells which are uh, insulated. Off to the side our transom walkthrough door, our rear boarding ladder, some convenient grab handles, fresh water shower, and again our Yamaha 300s that propel this boat phenomenally. Now, if the 320 falls into the category of what you're looking for in a boat, I highly encourage you to go out on the water and experience it for yourself. Your Cobia dealer will be able to take you out on a test drive in the conditions you desire, and that's something we provide for every customer here at Marine Connection to really put these boats through the paces and show you what they're capable of. So, again, as much as we can show you on video, what's really going to determine how that boat fits your lifestyle is getting out there and experiencing it for yourself. I'm Yanni with Marine Connection. Hope you have a wonderful day. And remember, life's better on your boat.